All right, hey guys, so I'm gonna let Nick try to do a little destructive testing on this. I've removed the, uh, the collar to lengthen the other one we had on the animal. Um, and I've removed most of the screws just so he doesn't harm himself with them. But Nick, come here, come here, come on. I've got him in the house for a minute here, so we'll see. I've got one of his favorite treats in here and he's hungry right now. So we'll see if he's motivated. Nick, come here, hey, it's in here. Let's see what happens. He's gonna probably find himself a spot where he's gonna lay down to destroy stuff. And we'll see if he decides to try to break that open. So this is 140 pound Canis lupus occidentalis with unrestricted access. <coughs> Don't eat me. That's just the top for the antenna. All right, so we're seeing where stuff could come apart. Almost immediately, just by squeezing it, he's popped the uh, little cap where the antenna is secured off. And now he can really smell the treat. And he's, he's hungry. So this is what'll happen if one of these guys gets one of these things off and decides to go to town a little bit. Yeah, you can see he's already compressed where the antenna goes. It's flattened. He's not even trying yet. He's not super motivated. Like if I give him one of those Kong dog things filled with something frozen, he gets bored with it. But he's pretty hungry today because I've been trying to get him to eat rabbit. And uh, he doesn't really like rabbit, but it's a good food source. And so for like three days, he's been fighting me to eat a rabbit keeps asking for something different. So we'll see what happens here over a few minutes. See, usually when he has things like this, the treats can actually fall out and give reward. He smells it for sure, but it's not falling out, is it? No, you're gonna have to break it. be continued.